Solid state batteries are often called the future. Is Tesla actively researching them or do you see better near term gains from refining current chemistries like 4680s or silicon based? Yeah, I mean, battery tech is definitely at the forefront of a lot of things we do at, at, at Tesla. It powers every product that we make. Um, it's one of our core, you know, uh, responsibilities, I guess, to, to the world is to continue to push that forward. And I think, you know, if you look year over year, um, battery improvements have been always been incremental, you know, uh, about 3% energy density improvement year over year or something like that, and maybe similar in fast charge. And, and you know, I, it, you can go back decades to figure out when the first, you know, lithium ion battery happened and follow that, li you know, linear trend. And I think um, we'll continue on that trend and we continue to refine it. You know, every, every couple years or so, we change over our entire battery cell factories with our, with our um, vendors. We just, you know, in, in China with uh, CATL launched a new cell a couple couple months ago with the new product, um, with, the new, with the Juniper, and um, also, you know, with uh, LG, we improved that. And we did that through incremental improvements, through electrolyte changes, through cathode changes, through anode changes, through packing densities and manufacturing process changes. And I think that that's going to keep going um, for a long time, and we're going to find a lot of more improvements in the batteries um, that we make in our vehicles, and whether they're coming from our house, in, there are pr production factories of 4680 or our vendors. Pana, LG, CATL, whoever, um, that's going to continue to happen. That doesn't mean we don't also look at trends like solid state batteries and, and, and super caps and other things that might provide other alternatives of energy. But, you know, li lithium ion and li lithium iron phosphate, like, but what those cells have really proven their worth in terms of like energy density and capability. And I really think we're only in the, you know, the beginning of that. I, I still think there's a lot of gains to, to be made in, in, in microchemistry and in, in those in those form factors.